Hi, I'm Todd Heike. I'm the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well folks, it's great to be back from vacation, be back at the store and see all of you once again. And, uh, I appreciate everyone that sent me notes uh, saying that they look forward to the reports and I appreciate your understanding that I'm not having one this week. But again, I appreciate all of you that watch these reports and all for all of your comments. As far as the fishing reports have been, uh, it's been kind of mixed results, uh, results uh, throughout this past week from what I understand. But a lot of guys have had some decent success out there, especially late afternoon and evening when it comes to walleyes. Especially around Bitter. Uh, Bitter has been having a, a great night bite up there. The guys that have had uh, permanent shacks have had great success during the overnight hours. Other lakes that have been producing some walleyes during the daylight as well as at night include uh, Wabe, Swan, Opitz. Uh, Indian Springs, a few walleyes being caught there. Dry Lake by Clark, as well as uh, Clay, uh, Casey Slough, not too far away from Indian Springs. Down in the southeastern part of the state, one of the, the, some of the lakes that have been producing walleyes include uh, Sinai, 81 Ponds, Ponset, uh, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, uh, Oakwood, mainly West Oakwood uh, at this point in time, and then uh, Diamond, Island, and Vermillion have been producing some walleyes in the late afternoon and evening uh, hours. Now what have they been using? A lot of rattle jigs such as the Buckshot Rattle Spoon or the Lindy Rattle Flyer. Uh, any of those baits have worked well. And then also the Shiver Middle uh, by Moonshine. We, we have had a lot of success with uh, these lures this past week and the past couple of weeks when guys have been tipping them with middle heads. If you don't know what they are, stop on by the store and take a look at them. They have a wider assortment of colors and all of them really glow unbelievably well. And that I think has been the main attractant uh, for the night bite walleyes that we've been seeing the past couple of weeks. Well folks, the perch bite continues to go well this past week across uh, much of the area, especially up around Bitter. Uh, a lot of trophy perch have been coming out of Bitter. You guys haven't been catching a lot of them all at once, but when they do get into them, boy, they've been really into some nice perch. Other lakes include uh, Wabe, uh, Sinai, Whitewood continues to produce some really nice perch, uh, Ponson, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, uh, Horseshoe, those are all lakes that have been producing perch, as well as Twin Lakes, the Trophy Lakes north of uh, Humboldt. Uh, but again, there you have to move around to find those active fish. Now what guys have been using it have been, as far as live bait, maggots, uh, wax worms, as well as small minnows. And as far as jigs are concerned, uh, anything tungsten. And one of the tungsten jigs that have been really been doing well for the past week or so has been the Northland Banana Bug. That's been really working well due to the, the hooks that, that you get with the, with the jig. So stop on by and take a look at the banana bug by Northwood. And for you pike fishermen, there's been a lot of nice pike being caught lately, and some of those lakes that have been producing those trophy pike include uh, Wabe, Cottonwood, uh, Thompson has even been producing a few pike there, uh, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, as well as Ponset. All have been producing some really nice pike. Also Swan is another location that I would head out to. And what have they been using to catch the pike? A lot of quick strike rigs on tip-ups, uh, using uh, smelt or chubs, but uh, guys, if you're looking for uh, for nice pike, now's the time to get them. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. Remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. Before we end this week's report, I want to bring a few things to your attention. First off, a reminder to all of you to make sure you get your 2016 fishing license before you head out on the ice next time. You can either get it on the GFMP website or you can stop here at the store and uh, we'll be more than happy and willing to, to help you out with your license. Second of all, make sure when you stop by the store, take a look at all the sales. All remaining shacks are going to be sold at dealer cost. Dealer cost, uh, to emphasize that one more time. Make sure you stop on by, 
quantities and supply is limited. So again, all remaining shacks will be sold at dealer cost. Plus, great buys on all remaining electronics and augers as well. So check out the sales the next time you stop by the, by the store. If you can't make it to the store, give us a call here at 605-336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the 2-Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner of Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it.